Jumping in on Manx Radio with Howard and Chris Kane. Hello. Good evening and welcome. Here we are once again. It is a Saturday night. It is, of course, Manx Radio. Where else would you be tuned? Because Saturday night, 9 o'clock, means it is the best in modern and contemporary jazz in jumping in with myself, H. And me, Chris. Yes, welcome along to this week's show. And as winter has shown its icy claws with a blast of frozen northern air causing cancellations, lost revenue, treacherous roads, hazardous walkways and frozen assets. Or do I mean snow day? Woohoo! Sledging, snowballs, snowmen and snow angels. It rather depends on your point of view. One thing is for sure, though, at this time on a Saturday night, the best place is curled up on the sofa with a nice warm house for an hour or so of the latest hot jazz to keep you warm. So, H, what's been warming your cockles this week, or has it been cool enough to chill your beer? Well, you know what? I love snow, unless you have to drive in it, in which case snow and ice does not make for a pleasant driving experience. I'll leave it there. Uh, what have we got? Uh, yes, we will be looking to the sky. Uh, Noah Preminger, the most popular name, apparently, in the UK, in the Isle of Man at the moment. Noah very nice one that indeed will be uh, out to dinner and a new name for me at least on the ECM label. And for me we're on solid ground despite what Toto said we're back we're in the dark and to get us warmed up here's a bit of archaeology for you to dig red and gold.
Red and Gold from Archaeology, the music of MSM Schmidt from the Arc Trio and the John Diversa Big Band. For those in the know, the ARC or Arc Trio is one of the many projects of ace bass player, former Yellow Jackets member and top producer Jimmy Haslip, who for the last decade or so has been working with German keyboardist MSM Schmidt. Check out a few of his releases for a guest list that reads like the who's who of the fusion world. Fusion's still alive. For archaeology, Jimmy brought his trio of tribal tech keyboardist Scott Kinsey and Hungarian drummer Giorgio Berle, along with Grammy-winning John Diversa Big Band, together expanding some Schmidt originals. Jimmy says, I wanted to see if I could make a big band record, but somehow make it different. Many guests on this as well, including Noy and Lay, Steve Kahn and Oz Noy. Worth a listen. Definitely worth a listen and a great way to get us going on this Saturday evening. Jumping in, of course, with Chris and myself, H. And, uh, yeah, ECM's never far from my CD player or turntable, or whatever the case may be. I'm trying to avoid too many downloads. But, yeah, they're there in any case. And uh, a new name for me on this one, Benjamin Lackner. It's certainly his debut on the label. A, uh, described as a concentrated investigation into patient quartet Interplay, uh, Lackner, the pianist, in some great company, Matthias Eichen, trumpet, Jerome Regard on double bass, and the wonderful French drummer Manu Katche. And this is called Camino Cello. <laughs> Thank you. 
Lovely. It is indeed subtle interplay, a nice, quiet, laid-back groove, really together. Not ever in your face again. Typical ECM in many ways again, isn't it? That sort of subtle groove, that sort of stuff that grows on you as you listen quite often, doesn't slap you in the face the first time you hear it. Oh, but a uh, Lux correspondent, Lucky Man, has just seen that group live at his local jazzery and was uh, raving about them, said, yeah, really good. Not maybe the sort of place you might think of Manu Kache, who can be sort of a full-on all-out drummer, and uh, he said he's quite reined back, as he is indeed beautifully restrained there on that particular uh, track. The album is called Last Decade, uh, as I say, on ECM. Benjamin Lackner came out, I think, in September of uh, last year. Matthias Eich on trumpet, uh, Jerome Rega on uh, double bass and uh, Manu Kachi on the drums. Uh, Benjamin says, we decided early on it was going to be an acoustic record. It made me easier for me to focus on direction and rediscover the acoustic piano more intimately. I worked on finding grooves that allowed me to conceptualise melodies in a more open way, but with the horn player in the band, I had to come up with a different harmony parts on the piano to what I'm used to and think of the trumpet as the leading voice, which is new territory for me. Well, if it's new territory, you've done it very well, is all I can say. Check it on out. Very nice indeed. And uh, if you want to catch him on tour, he's on tour with that album tour uh, until the end of the month. But you'd have to be either in Germany or Switzerland. Uh, ah, yeah. not quite. And he must be known as Benny because his website is bennylackner.com. Uh, next from me, a pianist who we've also featured on the show a number of times, both with his Graviton project and his solo piano album. Well, now he has a new trio with Joe Downard on bass and longtime collaborator Rod, Rod Youngs on the drums. And they sound like this. Here's Brooklyn Memoir.
Andrew McCormick on piano there with Brooklyn Memoir taken from his recently released trio recording Terra Firma. Andrew first made the news as one of the BBC Rising Stars back in 2006 and we've previously played also tracks from his duo album with Jason Yard, very good indeed, and spoke with him on the show back in like, oh, I Punt. Uh, um, I remember talking to him, in fact I can remember exactly where we did it in yeah. the sort of back, at the back of the hotel, the back bar at in the back bar Southport, at, uh, Jazz, Southport Festival. Jazz Festival, I'm guessing about five, six years ago. 2018, mm. pretty good enough, mm. uh, at the Southport Jazz Festival, but his new trio is a treat with a fluid and engaging bass work of Joe Downard, who I liked his release very much last year, and the driving rhythm of Rod Young's Terra Firma out now on the Buntu. And thanks to them for sending us a copy. Terrific stuff, as this this next one. Um, and the name actually is rather appropriate. Just before we came up to the programme, I was looking at the release, as they quite often do at this time of year, from the uh, registry of names on the Isle of Man. And... It always comes up with what everyone's interested in. What was the most popular boy's name and girl's name in the last 12 months? And it did surprise me that the uh, most popular boy's name on the Isle of Man in 2022? Any ideas? Mm. I might have gone for Jack, which was up there, but it was Noah. Mm. Noah. I can see he just looked it up. Well done. Um, Yeah, Noah. did nothing of the kind. Oh, no, he's just looking at his phone for something else. Um, Noah, not Noah Premages, though, but it was Noah. did surprise me did surprise me, I must admit. Uh, and it did make me think of this album. Almost got into my top of 2022 uh, list. Noah Premager, which came out on, uh, I think it was Criss Cross last year, with his trio Sky Continuous. And this is a lovely track he calls You'll Never Win. <laughs>
Yeah, I've been enjoying that one a lot. I must admit, since uh, it came out last year, Sky Continuous, Noel Premagen, uh, who was 2022 rising star alto sax, and it's its third album, I think, for uh, Chris Cross. Uh, really good stuff. Recited uh, trio, as you can gather there, bass virtuoso Kim Cass who has played a lot with uh, Noel uh, Preminger before. And on the drums, one of my favourite drummers from the last, uh, well, God knows how long now, Bill Stewart. Played a lot, of course, with John Schofield over the years and just has a wonderfully fluid, light touch. He never seems to be overpowering yet. He's always busy, but in the right sort of way without overpowering the music. But he's all over the tom-toms, has this wonderful cymbal beat going. Great player, I must admit. But this first time they've played together quite a few Preminger Originals, really open-ended stuff, some real swinging stuff, uh, as you gathered there as well, recorded in November 2021 at the Samurai Hotel recording studio in New York. Never heard of that one. Very nice indeed, but uh, I urge you, if you see that one, to give that a spin as well, and uh, I'll certainly be looking out for more from Noah in uh, 2023. Yeah, absolute swinging. I did feature him on the show quite a while ago, I think, just when we received it, but it's been uh, one that's a, it's a great listener, really is. Next, a contrafact, and that's a fact. Here's Bobby Watson with the title track of his new release, Back Home in Kansas City. <laughs>
Hmm. Saxophonist Bobby Watson, who spent five years as the musical director and sax man with Art Blakey and The Messengers from 76 to 81, featuring on 14 of their albums, giving him the record for the most appearances other than Art himself on any Messengers album. He went on to form Horizon, which was a great group, sort of post uh, after, after the Jazz Messengers, and then concentrated on his solo career. And back home in Kansas City, seeing's returning to his own hometown with a fresh set of contrafacts, that is, new melodies written over existing tunes. And that title track is a borrowed chord sequence from back home in Indiana. The album features an all-star quintet of uh, Watson's longtime rhythm section of uh, Curtis Lundy on bass, drummer Victor Jones, along with pianist Cyrus Chestnut and uh, Jeremy Pelt on trumpet in the front line there. And like all the Smoke Sessions releases, it seriously swings. They're all great. Uh, yeah, you're right. I've never had a dud Smoke Session one. It seems to be such a good uh, such a good label that for sort of a real swingers and something you're always going to get enjoyment out of. Jeremy Pelt, you never go wrong with, and Cyrus Chestnut. Just a great name. <laughs> great great player as well, it has to be said. Uh, jumping in with Chris and myself, H, and we are out to dinner. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi, this is Maria Schneider, and you're listening to Jumpin' In with H and Chris on Manx Radio.
another one which almost made it onto my hit list for 2022. Uh, that was a Caleb Wheeler Curtis heat map, a cracking album. Oren Evans with that repeating sort of, it's a very minimalist track, that one called Spheres, isn't it? Uh, Eric Rivas, Gerald Cleaver at the drums, Oren Evans, as I say, at the keyboard, and Caleb Wheeler Curtis uh, on sax. Uh, a fine one, that, and yeah, that was on the platter quite a lot in uh, 2022 as well. So many almost made it onto the list. Definitely worth it, another spin. I was going to play it last week, but I lost the CD altogether, which doesn't really help. And before that, another one I rather enjoyed, Out to Dinner, not to be confused with Out to Lunch, which of course was Eric Dolphy. Uh, this was another, from we were saying, from Positone, uh, another cracking label, never seemed to get a duffer from Positone. The second outing mark, uh, free from Positone, put together a volume of performances, which he said aimed to expand sonic palettes with adventurous explorations of the jazz genre. Jazz genre, I'll get it right. Uh, great f- performances from the Vibes play there. Ben Galise, trumpet prodigy. Another one new on me, I think. At least the name doesn't ring that many bells. Uh, Giverton Gillin and the rising star tenor saxophonist Nicole Glover, uh, all with the bassist uh, uh, Boris Kozlov and drummer Donald Edwards, who have been around for quite some time and really enjoyed that one as well. Out to dinner, play on. We'll have to look out for out for breakfast, out for brunch, out for elevensies and out for tea, out for count, just yeah. to make the list. Well, that's about <laughs> it for this week's show, but we've just got time to tree- squeeze in a track from Sunder Ark and their latest release, Nightlands. Who are they? They being brothers Nick and Jordan Smart on keyboards and sax, respectively. They also happen to be two-thirds of new jazz minimalists' mammal hands. Sunder Ark's music, however, is decidedly more electronic and perhaps has percolated through a bit of a dance-oriented style than the hands music has. Here's Distant Siren. See you next week. Indeed, look after yourselves and we'll see you then. Take care. Bye for now.